whenever you guys are ready. Matt, you said your team wanted to shoot better today, and it clearly was the case. 51% from the field, 40 from three. Are you happy with what you saw? Yes. It was nice to see the ball go in, um, especially the first half. It was, uh, I feel like there's been a lid on the rim, um, and it was very nice to see the lid lifted and see some shots fall early. Um, I also think that it was a classic example of kind of what I've been trying to hit home with them, that it's not that we're just missing, it's that we're not playing with enough pace. And I thought the shots today were the exact shots we want. And um, I don't think it's a complete coincidence that they went in. Bench scoring to 26 to eight out of the bench. You got a balanced attack. Was that what you're hoping for too? For sure. I thought uh, everybody, everybody played well. Um, I thought, you know, I don't think anyone had what I would call a bad game. And that's been another thing we've talked about is just offensively, you know, we need more guys who are having good games. And the best way to do that is to have the ball moving where they're attacking in better spots. Um, and I thought that was the case today. So it allowed every single one of our players to have a good individual offensive game, um, something that uh, hasn't happened uh, all year. You guys, um, yesterday rebounding was a story and a loss. And then today you outside out got out rebounded. You out rebounded them by eight and a full offensive board. So what was that focus going in from yesterday to today? Yeah, we, we talked a lot about, um, you know, just needing to be tougher and needing to want the ball. Um, I actually played the uh, the Al Pacino uh, piece within inches speech before the game. We played that in the locker room because I feel like in these last three losses, and we've been all beating ourselves up about it, but we're just inches away, loose balls, shots, 50-50, um, you know, plays. And I thought tonight we really took that to heart and we definitely won the, the loose ball battle, the 50-50 ball battle, the offensive rebounding battle. So um, really proud of that. And on your golden birthday has to be special. Um, talk about how uh, – <laughs> just talk about how great it is just to win on, on, on the special day for you. Yeah, you know, it's always fun to win on your birthday. The guys uh, knew it was my birthday before the game, and I told them that uh, if they won, I'd give them a little birthday dance afterwards. But if we lost, I wasn't going to do any dancing. So um, I think that gave them a, a little bit of motivation. We needed to make sure the, the locker room dance party happened. So, um, no, it was fun. How was your dancing? Do you think Sorry, it was fun? Oh, terrible. Really bad. Um, <laughs> uniquely bad, actually. You see, like, and I'm amazed. You see these coaches uh, from other schools and they do their dancing at the end. And I'm like, what am I missing? These guys, they're older than me and they're, they're down there doing the worm. And I, I'm just bad. I'm just really bad. Will you try to do it again after win next weekend? Yeah, for sure. I mean, whatever it takes, I'll dance. I'll dance every day. I, I, I'm, I, dancing might be my new thing. If that's what it takes, I'm, I'm up for anything. Harper walks away tonight with 21 points. What are you liking from him? Yeah, so I, I thought, um, you know, he'd been kind of struggling to get in the groove, and we, we made a decision to just kind of start him. Um, he hadn't been playing that well, but I thought – I knew how good he was, so I thought, well, if we start him, maybe it'll get in his rhythm. And uh, first play last night, makes a defensive mistake, loses his guy, wide open three. Um, and I just, like, kind of laughed, and I was like, Trey, you got it out of your system. You got your one mistake out, but now that you're starting – uh, it happens quicker and we can move on. And I thought after, after that one mistake, he was pretty lights out all weekend. Um, we recruited him to be a shooter. And uh, I thought one of the biggest things missing with our shooting was Trey being in the lineup and uh, Max out being in the lineup. And so if we can get Trey and Max um, going the way they've been, all of a sudden I think our, our team becomes a way better shooting team as well. You guys had – it felt like you guys had energy right away to start. I mean, after one basket, and the bench is going crazy. For a – no fat arena, it was going pretty – I mean, it's pretty loud in here. I mean, what does that say about – was that emphasis for you guys coming in? For sure. I, I was disappointed last night and against Tech, not in the result, but I was disappointed in that we weren't better teammates and we didn't play with as much passion as I wanted. Um, and more or less going into today, the three things was – said, be a great teammate, play with an unbelievable amount of passion and be tougher. And if you do those three and we lose, we can live with it. But if we don't do those things, that's not who we are. Um, and, and for whatever reason, we just, the last two games, even though I thought we played pretty well, we just didn't have fun with it. And so tonight I was, you know, before the game, we were listening to music in the locker room, trying to keep things a little bit lighter. And 
Um, I, I just said, have fun. If we're going to be here and we're on a three game losing streak, have fun. And uh, I thought the fun kind of helped fuel some of the energy and helped fuel some of the threes. Now, um, with yesterday, you're, you're down by a couple points. I felt like you were down by a lot. Today, you're up by 20. I felt like you were up by two. Is that, is that how I felt on the bench? Um, I thought tonight it felt like we were up 20, to be honest. I, I thought uh, last night I definitely felt in the close game like we were down a bunch. Um, today, I, I really felt like we were up a lot. Um, we, we did that, that end of game stuff we do where we spread the floor out really wide and try to take some time off. Um, that's been something I've always done when I've coached and a lot of the good coaches I've worked for have done. This year's team isn't quite where I want it to be with kind of putting the, the foot down at the end. Um, we're not really trying to stall, but um, I think our guys this year kind of have taken it more like a stall, but that's something we got to work on. It's, it's, it's old uh, four corners basketball from, from the 1960s. So I, it's kind of fun to coach, but we, we just got to get a little bit better at it. Obviously, after a big half of 17, I mean, usually you don't see the lead double, you see the lead in decrease. I mean, what does that mean? Like, how important was it to outscore him in the second half and hold on? Yeah, I, th I thought that was probably the part I was most proud of. I think the, you know, sometimes after a loss and we have some, you know, talks and you come out with energy, um, but then usually it dips uh, because you can't sustain rah rah. Um, and I, you know, I didn't think we, you weren't going to be rah-rah for 40 minutes, but I thought the second half, we just had a concerted um, focus with good energy. And uh, I thought that was probably the most impressive part of the game. Um, obviously jumping on them early was great, but the fact we were able to extend the lead and, and really play better the second half, I, I, I thought that was the part I was happiest with. Any more questions for coach? All right. Thanks, coach. Thanks, guys.